In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the forward ref function in React. In the previous lesson on refs, we saw that you could add refs to any HTML elements. So you can use the use ref hook. Here we have a video ref. And then here we pass the video ref to this video. And now that we have attached it to this video element, we can now use that ref for different things. It's just the way you would do document.get element by ID or document.query selector. Instead of having to do that here in React, we can easily attach refs to elements and now by doing this i have this simple example here where we are working with the video i got this video from pixels here so what i did here is i have this video ref and then i attach this video ref to the ref attribute of the video html element then i have two buttons here when you click on the first button we call the on play function and when we click on the second button we call the on pause function now on the on play function we check if the video ref dot current property has a value and this current property is going to point to this video element so here we can do video ref dot current dot play and then here we can do video ref dot current dot pause the reason why i'm using this example is that on this video element we can pass the controls attributes and let me comment the buttons and this way we get these controls here which is fine but sometimes you might want to have your own custom play button pause button button, full screen button, mute button, and all those things. So I can remove these controls here. And now I have my own custom buttons, which I can now use to control this video. Now, when I click on play, the video is playing. When I click on pause, the video pauses. And that is because I have attached this ref and now I can use the element that the ref has been attached to. Now, this is an example of refs. Now, where does forward ref come in? And before I show you how forward ref comes in, let's say I create another component here called custom video now this video is going to receive a couple of props and let's say we are interested in the src prop and we're interested in the muted prop and then what this custom video is going to do is that it's going to return the video elements for the muted attributes we'll pass the muted prop and then for the source we pass the source now instead of using this video elements here i can use custom video and then for the src i can pass demo.mp4 by the way i have demo.mp4 in my public directory over here and then for the muted i can pass true so i'm using my custom video component but the problem that we have now is the ref how do we use the ref just like we saw you can pass refs directly to html elements but can we pass refs to react components like this well the answer is no by default you cannot pass refs and then let's say here i also get this ref as a prop now if i should open the console we're going to see some errors what does this error say it said warning custom video ref is not a prop so by doing it like this it is assumed that we are trying to pass ref as a prop because this is a react component so ref is not a prop trying to assess it will result in undefined being returned if you need to assess the same value within the child component you can pass it as a different prop so if we should pass this now as refs instead of ref if i should refresh we don't have any error but let's take this back to ref and continue reading the warning so like it says here you should use a different prop then here it now says function components cannot be given refs here we have a function component but it says that it cannot be given refs attempts to assess this ref will fail so when you want to pass a ref through a function component to a DOM element, this is where you use forward ref. How do you use forward ref? Well, first we need to import forward ref from React. So here I can say const custom video with ref and then here i can call forward ref and i can pass the custom video into it and now this ref is not going to be part of the props if you remember the first argument that the component receives is the props now by passing forward ref here it means this component is going to receive the props object and it's going to receive the ref and here i can destructure this to get my muted and my src and now that i have this ref i can now pass this ref here into the dom elements remember that dom elements can receive refs and here instead of using this custom video i'm now going to use the custom video with 
ref and now if i should open the console and refresh you can see we don't have any errors anymore our refs are now working fine and now if i should click play play works if i should click pause pause works so what we have been able to do here is that we have forwarded the ref that this component receives we forward it into this custom video component and now we can get it as the second argument and pass that ref here so we cannot use custom video with the ref because as we saw it's going to give us an error that function component cannot be given refs but by using custom video with ref which is this version here what we have now done is forwarded the ref to this component and this is one way some people use forward ref you have the component then you have the other components where you use the forward ref but some other people would instead do this so i'm going to clear all of this off and then here we're going to have const custom video and then we have the forward ref function and this forward ref is going to receive the component so here we can copy this and paste it here like this and we can give the component a name or we can just give it an anonymous function and then we can use this custom video here like this and if we should do this if we click play everything still works fine some people would also use an arrow function here so something like this and then you have the arrow function here so forward ref then your arrow function which you pass as an argument to the forward ref and this arrow function is a function component same thing you receive the props as the first argument you receive the ref as the second argument and you use them here and if we click play and pause everything works fine now this doesn't mean you should use forward refs all the time in our example here we can choose to put the video element directly here and this way we would not need forward refs but depending on your use case you might want to have a different component like this which can be reusable in different ways and then to improve that reusability making it possible for this component to receive refs that you can use forward ref and you can now get the ref as the second argument and wherever you want to use that ref in this component you can use it so i hope this lesson helps you to understand better what refs are and also where the forward ref function becomes important just like we saw forward ref allows you to pass refs from a function component to a dom element and then you can do whatever you want to do with that dom element in our case we saw a video you can call play pause you can also use it for form elements you can use it for any element that you want to query instead of using document or get element by id you can use refs and if it's a function component you can use forward refs to pass that ref